Hey everyone, this is Colin at Black Dog Outdoor Sports. We're continuing our conversation with the 10 essentials. So today's topic is going to be food or nutrition, if you will. So food is obviously super important because we need it to survive. Um, the average person, both men and women, if you average it out, requires about 1500 calories in order to keep our basic metabolic function in order to exist. So if we're at rest, that's pretty much what we need to consume to burn for life. So when we're out there in the field and we're exerting ourselves, whether it's super hot or super cold or we're super wet, our body requires more energy, calories, to perform and function. So, um, you know, meal planning is one of those things that we need to consider, uh, whether it's at home uh, or we are out in the field. So some really, really important things to consider when we're planning meals or snacks for the field is high calorie, high protein, sugar or caffeinated, you know, foods that are going to keep our body performing and working um, when we're putting it under stress. So we want to make sure that we eat a solid meal, plenty of water before our activity, and then maintain calorie intake as we're exerting ourselves. And then we want to have some sort of a recovery meal at the end. So typically, um, high carbs are going to be good for a pre-workout. And then you want those sugars and proteins during, and then you could also have more carbs, etc., at the end to kind of restock what was, has been depleted. My personal favorite go-to snack uh, is going to be Snickers. The Snickers bar is delicious. In my humble opinion, it's far better than anything out there uh, that's designed for physical activity. And you want to eat it because it's a Snickers. That's that's just me. Uh, so in my vehicle, in my emergency bag, in my hunting pack, etc., there's at least two Snickers bars in there. And I rotate those because they're delicious and I eat them. When we have certain other foods that are designed for workout and recovery, they don't always taste awesome. So myself, I would have those, they'd be in my pack, and I would always be like, oh yeah, I have that, but I don't really like it, so I'm not gonna eat it. And then we can get ourselves in a situation where we're not taking on the proper nutrition. So, lots of water, lots of carbs, lots of protein, and, uh, you know, some sugars to keep our bodies happy, and then caffeine also to keep us motivated and keep us clear. Um, we sell a lot of different food products here for camping, backpacking, and survival. The Mountain House food products are really awesome. We just got in a new brand, which is like an MRE, meal ready to eat, so there's, there's no really even need to heat it, uh, but you just take the packet out, put it in a boiling pot of water for a couple minutes, and then it reheats the food inside. I've not tried this brand yet. I'm super excited about it though. We have a couple versions. And then we have your individual packages of ReadyWise or Mountain House type meals um, that just require boiling water and time to kind of reconstitute. So, you know, look at what's available, make some good meal planning, Think about the duration that we're going to be out in the weather that we're in, and then make sure that you're keeping those calories in your body so that your body can perform and function. All right, shoot straight and keep your lines tight.